Hello. Lord of all creation, of water, earth, and sky, the heavens are your tabernacle. Glory to the Lord on high. God of wonders beyond our galaxy, you are holy, holy. The universe declares your majesty, you are holy, holy. Lord of heaven and earth, Lord of heaven and earth. Early in the morning, I will celebrate the light. And as I stumble through the darkness, I will call your name by night. God of wonder beyond our galaxy, you are holy, holy. The universe declares your majesty, you are holy. Holy Lord of heaven and earth, Lord of heaven and earth, hallelujah to the Lord of heaven and earth, hallelujah to the Lord of heaven and earth, hallelujah to the Lord of heaven and earth. God of wonders beyond our galaxy, you are holy, holy. Precious Lord, reveal your heart to me. Father, holy, holy. Do the universe declare your majesty, you are holy, holy, holy. Holy, hallelujah to the Lord of heaven and earth. 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 Hallelujah. To the Lord of heaven and earth, Lord of heaven and earth, Lord of heaven and earth. Early in the morning, I will celebrate the light, and when I stumble in the darkness, I will call your name by night. God of wonders beyond our galaxy, you are holy. Holy, the universe declares your majesty, you are holy, holy, Lord of heaven and earth, Lord of heaven and earth, hallelujah to the Lord of heaven and earth, hallelujah to the Lord of heaven and earth. God of wonders beyond our galaxy, you are holy, holy. Prince Lord, reveal your heart to me. Father, hold me, hold me. The universe declares your majesty, you are holy, 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 holy. Hallelujah to the Lord of heaven and earth. 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 Spirit of the living God, thank you for this meeting. Thank you for this lesson. Have us learn what you have for us to learn today. Thank you. Amen. Philippians 3.14
I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. To press is to go. To go is to run the race. 1 Corinthians 9.24 Know ye not that they which run in race run all, but one receiveth the prize? So run that ye may obtain. It is a race. To quote Highlander, there can be only one. One winner. Think about everyone you know. Remember, one winner. And then relax. They are not your competition. You don't have to beat them. Look in the mirror. The face you see is your only competition. Be a firmer believer than you were yesterday. Beat him in the race. Be a firmer believer tomorrow than you are today. You want to always be growing in your faith. This is like working out, exercising. Hebrews 5.14 says, Be but strong me belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Some tall guy and I start, both start at the gym round about the same time. He quickly put on muscle. I've been working out for two years and they are just now starting to appear. Everybody goes, everybody puts on muscle at different rates. I went to the gym for something to do. Had I gone there to put on muscle to make gains, I may have compared myself to him and become discouraged. Hebrews 5.14 says, The exercise is done by reason of use. Buff dudes call that consistency. Had I compared myself to that guy, I would have given up and thus been inconsistent. I wouldn't be enjoying the strength I am now able to enjoy. Everybody puts on muscle at different rates. Growing in your walk as a believer is just the same. Everybody's faith is different. Everybody's faith grows stronger at different rates. Don't compare yourself to anybody else. Look in the mirror. The face you see is your only competition. Beat him in a race. 2 Timothy 4.7 in the New King James Version. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. To win the race, keep the faith. The Bible calls this enduring to the end. Matthew 24.13 says, But he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And saved means freedom. Freedom isn't something for which one must pray. Are you enslaved by sin? Don't pray for salvation. Just claim it. Are you trapped by illness? Don't pray for healing. Just claim it. Anything promised in the Bible is something for which prayer is unnecessary. Another Promise is protection. Are you scared of anything? Just claim his promise. Believe it and it is yours. Mark 11.24 says, Therefore I say unto you, Whatsoever things ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them. My mom is evil. 
and I'm scared of her. I don't need to tremble in fear. I just claim his promise to protect me, and I can be brave enough to approach her. Where is this promise? Second Samuel 22, 3. The God of my rock, in him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower and my refuge. My Savior, thou savest me from violence. He is our shield. Shields protect us. This verse is a lesson all on its own. Anywho, back to this lesson. Hebrews 5.14 says, But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Exercised by reason of use. This has a prayer application. Use the same notebook used to outline prayers and to record scripture references to list prayer requests made. As he answers your prayer, put a check mark beside the request and even jot down how the prayer was answered. You will quickly see how God answers every prayer. The more requests made, the stronger your confidence will become and you'll answer the next one. That is what this verse means. My biggest, my biggest prayer request over the last few years was for God to heal my dad's back so he wouldn't feel back pain anymore. Isaiah 53 5 says, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. After I prayed for my dad, within a couple of days, I'd hear him tell my mom that over the last few days his back had been feeling better. Check. Recognize your need, read the Bible, meditate on and pray the word, listen before and after prayer, require God to keep his word, submit to God, accept everything is from God, pray God's will, allow God to work, grow, expect an answer, pray in the spirit, be confident in your authority. Outline your prayer. Be real with God. Seek God first. Be led by the Spirit. Let go and let God. Pray to the Spirit. Encounter God. Be one with God. Exercise your faith. Spirit of the living God, thank you for teaching us how to pray effectively. We are now ready to become prayer warriors. This is exciting. Allow us to prove ourselves to strengthen our faith. Holy Spirit, help us in our infirmities. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.